So, so is he young enough? Yes. yes. So this is targeted for ages four years to nine years of age. So things like we have um, this, which is a measuring cup where it's like one cup okay. and then for half a cup we have something which looks like yeah. actually a half fraction. So you can visualize, but you can also see that it's half, and then you have this one which is a quarter. It's like half, one half and quarter, or if you're doing one third, this is one third cup, or you then block out one third, and then you have this one which is for two thirds. Or if you want, if a recipe calls out for one one fourth, you can do one one fourth, or you can do one and a half. That's cool. Yeah, and then so, you like so then the next one is if I say that one cup of rice is equal to one cup of pasta, it's equal by volume, not by weight. So you put both of them, and then you can weigh them on the balance and see which is heavier. So it's going to be rice because that's more dense yeah. and more heavy. It fills up more space. And the third one we have is the food journal, where with this we have five food groups which you learn, which is proteins, grains, vegetables, fruits and dairy. And then each palette corresponds to that color. The red means fruits, yellow is grains. And then these would be days of the week. So if you eat salad on Sun on Monday you put one green because you have vegetables, then you say I had milk, so it's blue, I had tuna, you put the purple for protein and that's how you keep recording every day. Cool. At the end of the week you can put them by color. So you then have, you can see then see that, did you eat enough of fruits or did you eat more of the vegetables or did you eat everything you Does this sound fun? Yeah, it sounds like something you might actually really like. So, it's, in mathematical sense, this is a statistical bar graph concept. Yeah. Um, physically, you can see uh, what, what you're having. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so, uh, so generally, kids of young age, they don't, when you tell them, uh, you should be having 30 grams of proteins. They don't understand what's in the grams. So, but with this, you can at least, they can associate that I have had some protein, or I have a lot of protein, I have had some food. And so at the end, end of the week, you can see if you're having a balanced diet. It starts them at an early age, they can associate with their diet, their body. That's cool. You want to do it? You want to have it? We can make like that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So it's a good progress. Thanks.